ADC converts uh, real world analog signals like sounds, lights, or temperatures into digital data so that microcontrollers can understand. Sensor detects things like light or temperature and it's given analog signal and amplifier boosts this signal and then ADC convert it into digital form and finally the microcontrollers uses that digital data to process or control devices. In this tutorial uh, we are interfacing potentiometer uh, so for that uh, now we are sending ADC data uh, directly to the UART interface. Uh, so for that uh, you are configuration so we select asynchronous mode and that should work fine for our application now in the analog section we now because of we are using potentiometer so we have to select analog in sync input so select an0 and it's automatically enable corresponding speed so now uh, enable continuous converge conversion mode and which allow adc sample the input signal continuously uh, without needing trigger leave all other settings defaults and now click project generation we include header file here uh, because of we will use sprintf function in our code to convert numerical data uh, into formatted string and we will uh, define variables to store raw adc result and so keep things simple and readable so we use the name uh, adc and and for buffer we will store the formatted string that will be sent over UART. Uh, so first we will start ADC conversion uh, using the function HL ADC start and this function initialize uh, and start ADC. Social ADC fall for conversion function and this uh, block the program until the conversion is finished and for the timeout uh, so we use HL max delay uh, for blocking calls and uh, once the conversion is done uh, we will read the value. So HL ADC get value, uh, it's read the latest digital value uh, from the ADC and since uh, it's our 12 bit ADC, so it's return value from 0 to uh, 4095 and based on the input voltage. Format this value uh, into string uh, using sprintf, so we will store this formatted string uh, in the message buffer. So we'll call function sprintf. Uh, then uh message and uh, adc uh, so percent u uh, is used to print on signed integer and and finally sending this data over uart uh, using the hl uart transmit function it takes four arguments first one is uart handles or uh, like uart1 uh, which tell the microcontroller which uart port to use second argument is the data you want to send here we pass message buffer and we cast it a pointer because you are sending data in bytes so third argument is a number of bytes to send so since we are sending string uh, so you will use str length and to get length of that string and last uh, argument is the timeout we use hl max delay to make it wait as long as needed until all data is sent we also add a small delay uh, after each transmission so hl delay of 500 uh, now compile the project uh, if any error show up, we will troubleshoot them in next step Uh, look like uh, we missed including header for the string function so so we should fix this warning uh, we have to uh, include a string library so firstly we will include a string library and we will fix this warning After adding correct uh, header file, the project uh, is compiled successfully with zero errors and zero warning. Now let's move on to this simulation.